welcome back in this video we're going to learn how to apply and perform some operations or run some uh, or execute some functions on the results of a uh, group by so when we group data for example we have numerical data what can we do on that data this is uh, the data frame from the last video um, our normal data frame we have cities uh, rank and score one and score two so these are numerical data that we can uh, for example compute the mean of or um, the, the median of and things like that and we've seen before just a quick recap that uh, when we do the group by uh, we can say uh, for example uh, use for example score one and group by city uh, it gives me a series group by object but I can transform that to list and also what I'm doing here is I am saying basically group by city and give me the results for score one so I get the city for example Rome score one values are 41 38 34 same thing for Sydney and the same thing for Tripoli and remember that we can also transform this to dictionary if we wanted and because now we are grouping uh, numerical values let's assume that we wanted for example to see maybe a summary on that well we can because we get a series uh, um, a series group by object we can use the describe method or function and that gives me on each group now on it e on each city it gives me a count how many values I have the mean standard deviation minimum 25% uh, uh, percentile 50% 75% and then the maximum value likewise for the other cities right or for all the other for all the other groups um, so if I'd like for example to get the mean I can say give me the mean or if I wanted this median likewise the standard deviation and so on and so forth right it's the STD for standard deviation and another issue that we'd like to uh, highlight I think I've said I've talked about this in the last video is that we can also we can actually group by more than one column all we need to do is pass them as a list to the uh, to the group by function also have a list of columns city and rank and um, I'd like to have the standard deviation there okay so uh, group by city and then rank and then compute the standard deviation obviously because there isn't enough values uh, that we will have uh, uh, missing values or nans as you can see here uh, just to reiterate if we wanted to display this as a list just to make sure that we understand the concept of grouping by more than one column this is what it looked like a group uh, we will group by city and rank so Rome first 38 34 Rome second 41 uh, Sydney first 61 Sydney second uh, 48 54 and so on and so forth we've seen that in the, in the previous video another interesting thing here really interesting is that uh, we can actually define our own functions to be applied so instead of having the mean or the median like we saw in the last video I'm sorry like, like we saw a few moments ago um, we can actually define our own function and to be able to do that all we need to do is use the function apply so what I'm doing here is I have the, my data frame I am grouping by city and then I'm using the function apply and in it I can pass a lambda lambda expression or, or a lambda function uh, that will apply to one of the columns for example what I'm saying here is that uh, get the column score one so lambda x x is my variable now which is uh, the column get the column score one and compute or get the log transformation this is why I'm importing the numpy uh, library import numpy, uh, numpy as mp and then here what I'm doing is I'm using a lambda expression or lambda function to uh, get the log transformation this is an extra parenthesis let me remove it the, the, the log transformation log 2 of column score 1 so this is a custom or user defined function and if I apply that I get for city of Rome uh, we've got three values and this is the, uh, the log transformation the, the result of the log transformation basically I can say for example mp dot mean for these values so what I get here is instead of getting three values I will get one value for each city which is the mean of these 
three values for Rome, three values for Sydney, and three values for Tripoli. Okay, oh, something is not right. Yeah, Paris is missing, and we're good to go. Okay, hope the idea makes sense. Quite easy, nice, and really powerful stuff that can help us analyze our data and extract meaningful information. Okay, let's stop here and see you in the next video.